Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to use the Lynx web browser. This is a, an old text browser that just fetches web pages and displays them as text. So you can see in this picture here, it's just scraping the text off of a web page. And it has several uses for SEO and web development. If you go to the Google guidelines here, the Search Console help, uh, there's at least one or two places where they still recommend links. So it says if you want to see what your website looks like without JavaScript, you can use a text browser such as Links to examine your site, since many search engines see your site much as much as Links would. And if if it doesn't display well in Links, then search engines may have problems. I've also written this as a blog post. You can check it out in the video description. So there are two ways that you can follow this tutorial. You can watch the video and or you can check out this uh, blog post. So to start out, I would check out the blog post. It explains how to ex install links. And after you have installed links, then come back here and I'll show you how it works. So let's look at a page, example.com. So here we have a simple website. I'm gonna right click and choose view page source. And what that does is that shows us the HTML source code of the page. If for some reason it doesn't, if it's scrolling too far on the right, just right click and choose wrap long lines and it will be easier to read. So here we can see that there's just a bit of HTML here. There's one link on the page, this a href here, and two paragraphs and one h1. And then up here we have the title and all of the head, including some styling. So it's a really simple web page. Now, once you have link, links installed, you can fetch a web page like this. So links dash dash dump, and then you can just grab this, uh, grab the URL, paste it over here. And now you can see that it printed out the content of the page here. So example domain here is this text. And here it says, it has a paragraph, that's this paragraph. And then it says more information and it has a one next to it. And if you look here, this is a link, more information. And below links is extracted all of the links. Links, the browser, has extracted all of the URLs and it puts them in an ordered list. So this one here, more information, links to this URL. And we can use this in order to extract the links from the page. So to give you a better example, I've created this page called Scrape Target. The URL is gonna be in the, in the video description. So let's try it on Scrape Target just to see how links works. Link stump, and then we'll copy this URL, scrape target, paste it over here. Now I hit enter, let me make this larger. So right here is the command. Now, now take a look at some of the things it says here. So it says this no script message only shows if JavaScript is turned off in your browser. If you're scraping with Link's browser, you will also see this message because Links doesn't support JavaScript. So that doesn't appear on the page, but bots can read it. So Links is already giving us some information that we can't see just by looking here. So let's right click, view page source. And it's kind of hard to see here because of because the script is minified, all the HTML code. But if you look for this no script here, you can see that that's the text that we're not seeing on the page, but Links is picking it up. So Google will see that text, even though you can't see it on the page. Let's go back to the page itself, scrape target. That's this, this paragraph here, that's this. And then here it says one, which means that this is a link. And if we scroll down to the bottom in the references, that's the, that's this first link here. What I did is I just put some links here in a list and each one of these links has a number next to it which corresponds to the URL in the footer here. And you can see a couple of problems, like if we go down here, there's a copyright symbol and it just turns up, up as, a, as a question mark here. So we can fix that by modifying the command a little bit. Another thing you notice is it says this date gets rendered with JavaScript here in the browser. And then it says this site name gets rendered with JavaScript in the browser. But on the page itself, you can actually read it. It says 2022 in the website. And what's happening there is that you can see here in the HTML, it says uh, this date gets rendered with JavaScript. 
and this site name gets rendered with JavaScript. So that's what Google is going to see, or I won't use Google as an example, any bot, any bot that scrapes your site, if they don't have JavaScript turned on, they're just going to see this text. And the JavaScript file here is actually what's creating that text. So this is minified, but it says right here, you can see it's creating some HTML. This box was created with JavaScript on the client. So you'll only be able to scrape this sentence if your scraper can render JavaScript. And then here it's appending the new year. You can see current year here, get the full year. Okay, so the next step we want to do is get rid of some of the problems here. So what if we only want to get the links? We want to scrape the links out of this website. And we want to, we don't want any kind of weird characters. So first let's try to fix the weird characters. So let's use the same command here. But here, right after the word dump, let's put dash dash display char set equals UTF dash eight. And that's going to get rid of that weird character that we saw a minute ago right here. So I'm going to hit enter. And now you can see it's a real copyright symbol. So that's the first step. The next step, what I'm going to do here is uh, copy this URL and I'll use a backslash. I'll use backslashes. So uh, we can do backslash and that just means start a new line, but don't, don't submit the command yet. We'll add display char set back. Start a new line with the backslash. And here, and here we can say uh, list only. And that's going to show us only the, only the links because we don't care about the text in this, in this example. And we'll say no numbers to remove the numbers. And then we have to give it the URL again. So just put that in. So now we're just saying dump the output, display it as UTF-8, which gets rid of weird characters. We're going to only list the links and we're going to remove the line numbers. And that's the URL we're going to fetch. So when I hit enter, we'll see a list of links and there it is. That's all the links on the page. One useful thing that you can do in the terminal on Linux, Mac, or with WSL for Windows is to pipe the output of one terminal command into another terminal command in order to process the data further. So in the next example, I'll show you how to scrape all the links from the front page of the New York Times and then process the data with a few other tools. So right here, I'm just gonna say www.nytimes.com and we'll see something different in the links. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now we've scraped all the links off of the homepage of the New York Times. And you can see that it's separated them into several a couple of different sections. So here it's, it has one called visible links and you can see a few different domains here, some external websites, different sections of their website. And then we can go down to the bottom and it says hidden links. So the output includes things that are not links. So visible links is not a link and this text hidden links is not a link. What if we want to filter those out? The Linux-based operating system or Unix-based operating systems, you can take one command and pipe it into another command. What I mean by pipe is that the output of this, all that text that was printed out a minute ago, we can say send that into another command that searches through the list. And that command is called grep. And grep, we're going to say only find lines that begin with HTTP. And this will find all lines that contain HTTP to say that we want to say that the HTTP has to be at the beginning, we put a caret character there, and that means only at the beginning of the beginning of the line. So now when I hit enter, it's going to filter out anything that is not a link. And you can see it also colorized the matching part. So now you can see there are no blank lines, no other messages, it's just plain old links. The next thing we want to do is remove duplicates. So if, say wire cutter was in here a couple of times, we want to get rid of that. Here we have duplicates, three New York Times.com homepage. So let's edit the command again. Go down to the bottom, backslash, and we'll make a new pipe. And this one is going to be a sort command. So this will sort the output. When I run it again, now they're in alphabetical order. So you can see New York Times.com section, opinion, which is letter O, letter O, letter O, 
P R S T U. So now it's all in order. Once it's in order, we can get rid of the duplicates by doing one more command, and that is called unique, U-N-I-Q. So now we've just scraped the website and extracted every, every unique link on the page. All right, so let's do the command from scratch using the scraper website. So we'll say links, list only, no numbers. We'll say display char set UTF-8. We're going to dump the output. We'll scrape the scrape target website that I built. And we'll say grep, which means search for any line that begins with HTTP. And we'll pipe that into sort to sort it. And we'll pipe that into unique. And then we're going to do one more thing. We're going to send that output into a file. And to do that, use the greater than sign. And so we'll just write links.txt. Now I ran that, and it didn't print out the output because it sent it into that links file. So we can say, I'm going to open it in an editor. And you can see here we have 30 links. And they're all sorted. So what we can do now that we have all of these links is that we can create a program, a very simple program, that loops over all of them and makes sure that all of them still work and they aren't broken. So let's do that next. Check out part two of this video for the broken link checker. The video link will be in the description as soon as I upload the second part. Hope to see you in the next video.